Hi guys, Sagar here. Hope you understood the previous one. So this video is about is it, it is the fourth question of exercise 1.3. So it is to express the following decimal numbers in the form of p by q. I mean rational numbers and write the prime factors of q, the denominator, and what do we observe? So if we can see the first one, 43.123. We can multiply and divide by thousand here since it has three decimal points. So we get 43, I mean 43,123 by thousand. Since the right, since the told to write the decimal form, of, I mean the prime factorization of Q, it will be 443123 by 10 cube. Which will be equal to 43123 3 by 2 cube into 5 cube. Next, second one we have here 0 0.1201, 12001, and so on. So, this second decimal number cannot be written in the form of p by q because the numbers which the decimal numbers which can be written p by q are of the form. I, the decimals are either terminating decimal numbers or non-terminating repeating decimal numbers. They are never non-terminating non-repeat decimal numbers which is the example of second one. So we can't write the second example in the form of p by q. So next one, third one we have 43.12 bar. So bar means 43.121212 and so on. So let's take let let us let, let x equal to b 43.121212 and so on. Since here two digits are repeating, multiply LHS and RHS by 100. So we get 100x is equal to 4312.1212 and so on. So let us take this as second equation and this first equation. Subtract first equation from second equation. So 100x is equal to 4312.121212 and so on minus x equal to 43.121212 and so on. So we get here 99x is equal to these all will be zeros. And this, if we subtract, we get 94269.0000. So x will be 44,269 by 99. But x is actually equal to 43.121212. So 43.121212 and so on. It will be equal to 42 by 99 if we divide by 3 we get 33 and the numerator will be 1 4 2 3 so it will be 1423 by 33 and that will be 1 4 2 3 by 11 into 33 because they told write the prime factorization of the denominator next this will be 43.12 bar Next, the fourth one we have here, which is 0 0.63 bar. 0 0.63 bar will be 0 0.63, 63, 63, and so on. Again, similar to it, let, let x, similar to the above one, let x equal to 0 0.63, 63, 63, and so on. Multiply with 100 because two digits are repeating. If one digit is repeating, multiply by 10. If three digits are repeating, multiply by 1000 and, and so on. So we are multiplying by 100 here. So 100x will be equal to 63.6363 and so on. This will be first equation. It will be second equation. Subtract first equation from second. We'll get 100x is equal to 63.6363 and so on. Minus x is equal to 0 0.6363 and so on. That will be 
99x is equal to 63 right this all will be 0 0.000, 0, 0, 0. So x will be equal to 63 point 63 by 99 x is actually equal to 0 0.63 bar so 0 0.63 bar equal to 63 by 99 if you divide it by 3 we'll get 21 by 33 so again 33 can be written as 11 into 3 so there is second part of the question that what did we observe so if we observe in the first one the denominator is of the form 2 power m into 5 power m i mean if the denominator is of the form 2 power m into 5 power n then the numerator or the decimal number will be a terminating decimal number in the first case it is 43.123 if we check the third one and the fourth one the denominator doesn't i mean it has 2 power 0 and 5 power 0 but extra 11 and 3 in the denominator it is the same case with the fourth one it has extra 11 and 3 in the denominator and so they are non-terminating repeating decimal numbers that is what we observe in the decimal numbers thank you hope you understood subscribe bye bye